Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is about Michael Ilasami and Angela Deem and the Michael and Angela saga. Now, we have an update about what's going on with Michael in particular. As you guys know by now, the story is that a couple of weeks ago, Michael and Angela were together in their house and at one point Michael got up and left now Angela thought that he was going off for a walk and when he didn't return she basically called the cops and you know she thought that bad things happened to Michael maybe he got kidnapped uh, maybe he got attacked God knows what happened to him so she called the cops and we listened to that phone call a couple of weeks ago now as it turns out a couple of days later Michael himself turned himself into the police and said that basically he was afraid for his life, uh, you know, living with Angela. And as a result of that, he had to leave the house and he had to go elsewhere. Now, he's been hiding and laying low for a couple of weeks now. He only did one video that he didn't post himself. He sent it to an Instagram influencer that shared it on his behalf. And in that video that we also went over, he said that, guys, there are, um, you know, imposter accounts that are pretending to be me. Uh, pay no heed, pay no attention to those accounts because I, Michael, I don't have any social media. And he said, when the time is right, I'm going to resurface and I'm going to give you guys more information. Now, as it turns out, it appears that the time now is right because Michael is resurfacing, uh, which is a bit of a shocker, but perhaps it's not because if you guys know, uh, you know, what, what I've been thinking about this is that maybe this whole thing could be a setup. It could be a setup by Michael and Angela uh, and TLC to try to drum up uh, drama and controversy for, uh, you know, for Michael and Angela on the season of Happily Ever After. And also, guys, their segments are supposed to start, I believe, this week. And so is it a coincidence that Michael all of a sudden reappears as we're about to start seeing their segments on the show? Perhaps it is. But there's a lot of coincidence. You guys will let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. And right now, let's get right into this piece here, guys. And then we'll look at what's going on with Michael on social media because he has indeed resurfaced. So this is coming to us from Screen Rant. Michael Ilasami gives shocking new update after his split from Angela Deem. Did they really split? I'm not exactly sure that this has been confirmed now. We've heard and we've seen Angela say some nasty things about Michael, how karma is going to bite him in the ass and all of this kind of stuff. But as far as I know, a split has not really been confirmed. Now, maybe, it, it, you know, logic would tell you that these two are not together. But if they're faking this whole thing, then maybe they will find a way into each other's arms once again at the tell-all or some other kind of crazy uh, storyline now michael is back online amid his ongoing drama with angela dean the couple split after michael went missing in february michael Lasami from 90 day fiance he is now resurfacing after um you know going missing i guess we can put it in quotations charging 75 dollars for personal videos on cameo now fans can book shout outs and messages from michael on cameo now fans debate if michael used angela to come to the u.s criticizing him for taking advantage of her now of course, these are some fans, and, you know, I got flack, guys, for even mentioning this before, and guys, you know, I try to be fair, I try to present, there's people that feel one way about Angela, most of you guys don't like Angela, there's a couple maybe that do, but I would say the majority of, uh, of you guys that watch this channel, but also the fan base, they're sick and tired of her antics, they see her for the bully that she really is, they see her abusing Michael financially, uh, until now, she wanted to control everything that Michael did financially so that he wouldn't have any money and wouldn't be able to basically do anything on his own. She's emotionally abusive, even physically, and everything. We, we went over all of this multiple times. However, there are some people that do believe that Michael did indeed use An Angela as well. And so I just bring it up, guys, because I try to be fair. Now, when I do, I know I get some heat and people say, well, how dare you say that? I'm just trying to provide both of uh, the versions of uh, you know Michael and Angela there's always three sides to every story there's you know Angela's side Michael's side and then there's always the truth that's usually how it goes and so that's why I try to bring this up you guys make up your minds uh, about you know who you want to believe and in my opinion I think that Michael is well within his rights to leave Angela I think that Angela is indeed very abusive and I do see 
Michael being afraid, you know, for, for his own safety in a household with Angela because we have seen her put her hands on him in the past. And so when he says that, you know, I, I do believe that it's possible. So I do, uh, in that uh, sense, I do take Michael's side. Now, Michael has resurfaced. So Michael came to the U.S. in December 2023, and he lived in Angela's house in Georgia. Now, it has uh, taken over seven years for Michael to get an American visa after he met Angela on Facebook and got engaged to her. Michael and Angela never had a happy relationship, but they stayed together and did indeed get married. Now, uh, Angela claimed Michael disappeared in February 2024 until he was uh, found and then said basically he feared for his life uh, because of her. Now, Michael has revealed what happened to him after he was reported missing by his wife. So uh, let's take a look at what's going on here, guys. Let's show you guys this uh, video because it, it is important. So let's hear. Let's see if we can hear this. My today's fiance. Well, this is my new cameo account. Kindly follow me and uh, book your cameo for your birthday shout out wedding anniversary any occasion you want me to give you a shout out to just book me and i'll reply deliver it to you as soon as possible thank you and stay blessed cheers okay guys so there, there you have it, guys. That's that's his message. So Michael, he kind of keeps it short and sweet. That's kind of what he does. And before I say my opinion on what we just watched, I'd like you guys to go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about this. So what we're seeing here is that this is Michael's second video, as far as I know, that we have seen since he has disappeared. The first one was a video of him shared by Instagram account Kiki and Kibitz where Michael just said, guys, uh, you know, ignore if there's any account pretending to be me, ignore those because I don't have any social media. Uh, and he said, when the time is right, I will resurface and I will, you know, in some weird way, at least that's how I took it. He essentially hinted that he would provide more information about what happened. Now, this is really his first video that he's kind of putting out himself on his own platform since his disappearance and i have to say guys i hate to be critical but i will be because he's basically asking for money guys like this cameo stuff is you go and you book and, and you pay like in this case 75 dollars you know and he's using this as a way to drum up pr for cameo and in and, and try to make money off of fans and this actually makes me question the whole thing even more i really wonder if the whole disappearance if the whole thing wasn't a setup i don't know something feels off to me about this i really feel like if he was indeed fully afraid for his life and if everything that happened was indeed true i feel like he would do something that's not just based on money and asking people to to give him money like he would provide some kind of content that would explain what happened explain his position and just try to connect with fans on a real level instead of just asking fans for money. So I do take a little bit of, of an issue with this, but it's his right. He, he is fully within his right to do this, but it does make me question, you know, everything that he said before. It's not just on his side. I question that TLC wasn't involved in this and trying to set it up, but perhaps it's all a coincidence. Perhaps it's a coincidence that, you know, Michael went, This he disappeared just like two weeks before Happily Ever After Drop. Perhaps it's a coincidence that Michael is now pimping out his cameo just a few days before his episode drops on Happily Ever After. Perhaps all of this is a coincidence and everything that Michael and Angela have said is the truth. Perhaps. I don't know. You guys will let me know what you think about that in the comment section uh, down below, guys. Please do because I would love... To hear what you guys think about this because i have a very cynical view of the way that cast members use 90 day fiance and perhaps sometimes it's too cynical and perhaps sometimes i have to tone it down so you guys will let me know uh, about your opinions let's let's check out the rest of this uh, piece here so it reveals that michael has resurfaced after being out of action for over a month 
and has launched his cameo to make money in the U.S. Now, the page wrote that Michael is charging $75 for each personal video and $30 for a personal message. Now, 90 Day Fiance update uh, on Instagram also reported a video that Michael posted on Cameo to promote his page. Michael, in this video, wearing a yellow T-shirt, recorded himself saying that it was his new Cameo account while asking fans to follow him and book a Cameo from him. So... Michael said fans could contact him for shutouts uh, on any occasion. He asked them to book cameos from him while promising to deliver the videos to them as soon as possible. While Michael's video meant he was safe and happy at his undisclosed location, some fans trashed him in the comment section for using my, uh, Angela with nefarious intentions. Um, and this one user said, the way you played Angela, I saw you coming before you slid into her DMs. Um, y you know, I really think that you know, Michael, I, I agree with the sentiment that Michael paid his dues. Um, you know, I, I really do think that at the end of the day, if a, a young man in his 20s and 30s, Michael was in his 20s when he met Angela. So they've been together for a long time. If a young man in his 20s that wants to have kids and, you know, wants, you know, a long term relationship with, with a wife that is going to grow old with him. If a young man is going for a woman that's in her 50s. Then you got, you have to ask why, like, why is this happening? Is it true love or perhaps something else is at play? So I think that the people that are questioning that, you know, they're, they're within their, you know, they're on their grounds to, to question it. But I do think that Michael has paid his dues and I think that he's been a pretty good guy to Angela. Now I know Angela always throws a lot of accusations this way, but you know, he's been calm, understanding, um, as far as we have seen, never really did anything like physical or, you know, like he's always been very patient with her, even through all of the onslaughts that Angela, you know, did towards him. So uh, he's been always very understanding. Um, uh, so I really think that he paid his dues. I, I agree with that sentiment. Now, uh, not all fans agree that Michael is in the wrong for dumping Angela as soon as he came to the U.S. He was mistreated by Angela throughout the relationship. She accused him of cheating on her. He was not even allowed to have a social media page because he could use it to talk to other women. And that didn't stop Michael since he chatted with a young 30-something American woman using a secret Instagram page to cheat on Angela. Allegedly. If Angela had split from him, Michael would have already been looking for other American women that he could date. Now, 90 Day Fiance fans still don't know the truth about their split. Well, Michael is not really on any social media platform besides Cameo, at least as far as we know. Angela is only posting one cryptic update after another, always throwing shade at Michael. Now, the couple hasn't yet appeared on Happily Ever After, but um, I believe that they will appear as of uh, this uh, week. So, you know, another news, Angela blasts jealous heart of people amid the scandal with uh, with Michael. So Angela Deem is fed up with the jealous people in her life. Angela and Michael's relationship has yet to unfold. And fans speculate that Angela's absence from Happily Ever After may be related to Michael's disappearance in their rocky relationship. Now, this is not the first time that Angela has kind of uh, trashed people that don't take her side. This is kind of her MO. So that's to be expected. But that's the news for today, guys. So Michael resurfacing out of you know, thin air and saying, guys, go and book me on cameo. <laughs> I don't know. I really wish that he gave more information, more of an explanation about what exactly happened. Like we would like to hear it from him and not just, Hey guys, pay me $75 so that I can say, say happy birthday to you. So I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this on one hand. I'm glad that he's safe, but I'm not sure that I ever felt that he was unsafe, at least not after he left Angela, right? So the, the whole thing was that he was laying low because he didn't want to deal with Angela's harassment, but you know now he is out there, out and about. And like I said, as I believe, his scenes with Angela are going to drop uh, this week. So you guys let me know what you make about this, guys, but Michael is back. He, he is alive and he is fine. He is in good physical condition, it appears. And he's able to provide cameos. So if you guys want to book his cameos and you want to help Michael out, you can go ahead and do it. Not that I'm promoting it because I don't buy any cameos. I don't need any of these social media stars to say any good stuff to me. But if you guys like that, feel free to go and check out Michael on Cameo. And like that, uh, you can support him if that's what you want to do. 
I do have questions. I do have questions, and I guess we're not really going to get the answers that we were looking for, at least not yet. So I'm a little, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed by, by what we're seeing. I want to find out more information about what exactly happened. Like, why was Michael fearing for his life? I would like to know more information about that. Uh, he hasn't really clarified exactly why he was. Now, we can all extrapolate and we can think because we have seen the scenes, Angela destroying, you know, Michael Scar in Nigeria and just always looking like she wants to get physical with him and putting her hands on him and then being uh, abusive financially, emotionally, psychologically, basically in every which way we have all seen it. So it's not hard to imagine a scenario where Michael being now in the USA, not having his own support system that he had in Nigeria, his family, I believe uh, his uh, sister-in-law. There's a lady, I forget her name, that Angela did not like. And that lady always pushed Angela's buttons. Uh, and so he doesn't have a support system. So there is, it's very easy to see a scenario where Angela can use that to control Michael even more to the point that he, she drives him completely insane and he feels like his life might be in danger. I think we can see that. However, I'd like to hear it from Michael, but that's maybe just my opinion. You guys will let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Hope you guys did enjoy this update. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel. And you guys, we will, of course, bring you more update as soon as we find out more about Michael and Angela. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.